I'm about to do an algebraic expression here. And um, we're going to do, it's an expression, but we can't solve it because it doesn't equal to anything. So what we have here is 9n squared minus 9n minus 10. Now how are we going to solve this here? Okay, first what we got to do is multiply 9 times 10 equals to 90. Now we got this 90 sitting up here and we got to find out how we're going to use it. Well, first off, we got to find out what two numbers can multiply and equal to 90 and add to negative 9. All right. So we're just going to try out a number here. Say um, 15 and 6. Okay. All right. So let's set up the problem here. All right. Now, boys and girls, if I didn't have that right, then we have to go with some more numbers. But we're going to just try it and see if it works. All right. So we're going to set up the problem here. All right. We're going to put the positive 6 right there just to try it out. And then put the negative 15 here. Hmm. So, positive 6 and negative 15 equals to 90. I and mean, that's a negative 90. All right. And positive 6 and negative 15, it sure does equal to negative 9. I think we got an answer there. All right. So, what we're going to do, we're going to set it up again. Plus 6. <laughs> N minus 15. N minus 10. Okay, so what can we do here? I see here that we got two factors on this side right here. All right, 15 and 10 both have the greatest common factor of 5. All right. So when we say 15n minus, n, uh, minus 10, you could divide both of those sides by 5, and you have now 3n plus 2. All right. Now when we go on this side right here, you can take both of you can take a three out of both of those numbers. Ain't that something? Oh. And that's a negative five, by the way. Alright, you can take a three out of both of these numbers here. That's something, ain't it? So take three out of six and three out of nine. And that's a three, ain't it? Alright, you now have <laughs> three n because this is squared, so you only can take one n out of that. And these cancel out, and you now have plus two. Put both of those in parentheses there. Now, we took a 5, a negative 5 out of here, and we took a 3n out of that side. Okay? So what we have here is 3n plus 2 and 3n minus 5. Now, that could be the right answer. But let's find out by foiling it. All right. So when you foil this, you have 3n times 3n, which will equal 3n times 3n, which will equal 9n squared. All right. That's your first terms. Then your outside terms will be negative 15n, that's your outside terms. 
your inside terms will be positive 6n and your last terms will be 2 and negative 5 which will equal negative 10. Alright, so if you add negative 15 and 6, what do you have? Negative 9n. 9n2 minus 10. Does that look the same there? It sure does.